So today, let's make some gnocchi. Gnocchi are these soft pillowy dumplings made of potato and they go well with just any sauce. And the sauce could be as simple as it gets. They actually even go well alone as, as is. So I'm gonna make the gnocchi with some sage oil and I'm gonna serve it as an appetizer. You can even serve it as a starch with your with your chicken, with your ste uh, steaks. So let's quickly get started. So to make gnocchi, you need potato. And I have got half a kilo of potato. I have steamed these off. I'm gonna skin them. These are steamed to a point where they are soft, but they're still firm. I've got three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour, uh, one whole egg, but I'll be using only half of it. Some salt, this is a teaspoon of salt. This is some unsalted butter and some pepper for seasoning. So I'm gonna begin the proceedings by peeling all my potatoes, after which I'm gonna make them into a smooth mash using a potato masher. I'm gonna follow this by breaking an egg into a bowl and I'm gonna whisk it up. Now you can begin making your gnocchi dough. Dust some flour on your working surface and mix the eggs and your potatoes. Remember to add only half the volume of your egg. Once you see your potatoes and eggs have combined well, begin adding flour to your mixture. I'm going to start off adding only half the amount of flour, but you will eventually add the entire amount. Knead it well into a soft smooth dough. It looks like my dough has come together, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of salt. I'm also going to go in with some more flour, because I feel my dough is still a little wet. How much flour really depends on the moisture content of your potatoes, and so you'll have to take a call while you knead your dough. I ended up adding almost a fourth of a cup more to get this consistency. With my finished dough, I'm going to cut them into four equal portions so I can work with them a little more easily. Now I'm going to dust some flour on my working surface and I'm going to begin rolling my gnocchi dough into long tubes. Once you've rolled out your tube into a 1cm thickness, take a knife or a bend scraper and begin cutting small dumplings out of your tube. As you cut, you will see that your dumplings are beginning to look like pillows. Now I'm going to cook my gnocchi in this pot of water which I have heavily salted. And once the gnocchi is cooked, I'm going to dunk them into this bowl which has icy cold water. I have my water at a rolling boil and like any other pasta, you're going to dunk your pasta in and wait for them to float. Once they begin to float, take them off and throw them into your cold water. Now once the gnocchi completely cools off, I'm going to drain it and it's ready for its final stage. For this, I have got a stainless steel pan and as usual, I'm going to get it smoking hot before I add some oil to it. Again, I'm adding oil only because the butter which I'm going to add later doesn't have the same smoke point. Now I'm going to take half a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to let it melt. And I'm going to wait for it to begin to bubble. But I do not want it to turn brown or gain any sort of color. Burnt butter guys is not very tasty. My butter is nicely bubbling away and I'm going to go straight in with my gnocchi. Once your gnocchi hits a hot pan, hands off. Do not touch it anymore. So now the trickiest part about cooking gnocchi is once you drop it onto your hot butter, you'd be very tempted to stir it. But don't stir it till you realize that the bottom of the gnocchi is turning brown. If not, it is going to stick to your pan, especially if it's a stainless steel pan. And I recommend you cook it in a stainless steel pan. See that? My gnocchi has stuck to the pan. And if I turn it at this stage, it will tear. So I'm going to wait till it turns fully brown. So to flavor this gnocchi, I have got some sage. And sage will add this lovely cool aroma to your, to your gnocchi. So when your gnocchi is cooked, almost cooked halfway, is when you will drop this into your hot butter. Now if you look at the bottom of your gnocchi, you will see a dark brown tinge. Now this is when you want to turn your gnocchi. And that is the colour you're looking for. Mylard reaction guys, now that is called a Mylard reaction. And while the bottom of my gnocchi gets its own Mylard reaction, I'm going to go in with some salt and some pepper. If you want to go in with some pesto, this is the stage. 
even a tomato sauce, maybe an arabiata. This is the stage where you want to add any of your sauce and toss it. A final toss and we are ready to plate our gnocchi. So as a garnish, you could definitely go in with some parmesan cheese or maybe the basil oil we made the other day. Today, I'm going to serve this as a simple appetizer. But you could definitely make this your main course. It would be such a welcome change from a regular pasta. It also makes for a fantastic accompaniment with your steaks, with your chicken. And the texture guys, it's really to die for. So yeah guys, that's how you make gnocchi. And if you want to replace the potato with ricotta cheese, this exact same procedure, you get something called nudi. That's also pretty, pretty amazing. Now your gnocchi, you can toss it in pesto, you can toss it in a tomato sauce, you can even toss it in a pumpkin sauce. So you, you take some pumpkins, you roast it off, add some cream and then toss your gnocchi in it. It's amazing. So do try making gnocchi at home. It's crunchy on the outside, it's soft on the inside. Every bite is fun to eat. And if you like this recipe, do comment and like, share and subscribe.